and a joyous Three Kings Day to everyone out there. And uh, welcome, Four Color fans, to my biannual tour of the Medicaid of Gratitude. And uh, I did this back in late June, early July, but the Medicaid of Gratitude changes a lot during the year, so I figured I'd do two a year. Uh, this will be like the winter edition, and then you'll have the summer edition. I'm going to highlight different things, too, on the tour. So if you want to see my previous one, I'll link that below. But a lot has changed, so let's go inside and see. Obviously, we have the Medicaid sign there. I still have to do the, the gratitude part, but uh, that will be coming very soon. Got a few little glimpse there of uh, a few new things, but let's start. In fact, we'll start on the right this time. We started on the left. <laughs> And uh, right above here, I have some art there from Matilda with some of my buddies here in the YouTuber, YouTube land, including Matilda herself, Gray Man, Boyhood 7, of course, my buddy Bill, Simon, and I guess I'm Horlock of <laughs> There's the footprints and the story of Jesus. Of course, you know, I'm trying to be centered there and always remember uh, that faith comes first. And coming over here, I have that great piece of art, state art, sent to me by none other than the unruliest of simians. <laughs> and below it is a, let me try to get the glare off of there, is a shadow uh, drawing by my friend Lawrence Everett. And uh, here is a fabulous piece sent to me by none other than Dope Comics, uh, art by Kelly Freeze, and we believe that is uh, Frazetta there, at least on the right, it sure looks like him. And uh, up here we have, uh, a, a, it's a print, but it is signed by Russ Heath, sent to me by Lindsay, the great geeky Lindsay. I don't think she's really on YouTube anymore. Poster here, uh, Alex Ross, sent to me by my buddy Surf Blue. Over here is the uh, throne, I call it, but it's actually just an easy chair with a black panther throw and a crocheted blanket my wife made for me for those cold days where I'm reading in here. There's my reading lamp. I'll get back to the door in a sec. Here's the famous filming area. You can see it's still uh, decorated for the holidays. I will be taking this down uh, tomorrow, you know, this weekend, because uh, Three Kings Day is uh, kind of the end of the holidays for, you know, Cubans, shall we say. I mean, I'm sure there are other um, you know, nationalities that uh, celebrate it as well, but uh, this is the day that uh, we used to receive another gift. So I always thought that as a... Uh, pretty interesting. It also commemorates the three kings that went to Jesus when he was born over there and uh, sent, gave him uh, the three gifts as he was still in the manger. As you see a lot of, um, if you see a lot of manger scenes, uh, that's the, you'll see the three kings, the shepherds and the horses and cows, etc. there in the, uh, that area, the stalls. So anyway, that's the filming area. Uh, I do work here, so there are some work folders down there and down over under there, but, uh, you know, that's not what you're here for. I have that great uh, mouse pad sent to me by Jackson Roy Kirk. I'm not going to mention everybody here because it will be here forever, but there's some Matilda art. Uh, here's this really nice um, Mickey, uh, my, Mickey, Mighty Mouse coloring book from the 40s that uh, I got an estate sale and I framed up. Uh, here's the, the lamp that I have here. Uh, shout out again to Unruly Simeon. He didn't give me this, but I always think of him when I turn on that lamp. And of course the Santa hat and the geek cap there as well. Here's my Captain America corner. That uh, needlepoint was done by my uh, nephew Gabe. Fabulous piece. Here's a poster uh, given to me by his mom, my sister-in-law, Lisa. And uh, down here are my DCs. There's actually more than this throughout, but uh, these are the majority of them, except for that one on the upper right, which is my starts my A's and my Marvels. Uh, Captain America figure, including that Chronicle 3 that uh, I traded none other than Silver Knight Kyle for. Absolutely love it. Here's more of my Captain America stuff. That's his uh, splash, or um, actually centerfold from a uh, Heroes Illustrated comic book. And of course, a few figures and a few other camera equipment and things I'm working on down there. Here are some figures that are up on the side there. There's a Venom figure. There are one from Collector Dude, I do believe. I think that one up there is from uh, Night Tiger. And another one here that I give one 
contest. And then here is the left part of the wall. Up there are treasuries, which I like to keep up there. Again, office has pretty much changed since the first tour uh, last year. Uh, that second shelf obviously has uh, Spidey, Cap, Hulk, War Machine, and Thor, and some representative comics with them. Down here are some of the Christmas comics I showed on the Christmas show, and that's the Christmas shelf all decorated. Candy canes with stockings, with bows, with more stockings down here, and lights. And uh, this lower one are some of my uh, 30 cent variants, which I have mostly swapped out. Of course, I do have a complete set. And down here are the Christmas treasuries. So again, this is sort of like the last vestiges of Christmas here. Down the middle, as you can see here, I have um, those Superman foil cards. Uh, one of the, um, this is one of those panels from uh, the Marvel Universe back in the, I think that's 90, 90 edition. And uh, here's a Spider-Man kind of wooden plaque sent to me by Surf Blue Shield. And here are the three Christmas cards I received from community members. Nah Man, um, Night Tiger, and Life with, two Sh Life with Two YouTubers and Family. Back there are the Greg LaRock uh, AOKs I got from Nah Man, uh, amongst others. That sketchbook and that Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man 2 signed by Mr. LaRock. Love it, love it, love it. Here's the right side shelf. Up there are a bunch of my variants and special editions. And down here in the second one are my, is my DC shelf with some Batman metal men. Those are the metal men. I made those cars to uh, mimic uh, transformed metal men, gold, mercury, iron, lead, tin, and Tina. We have uh, Batman 251. That's a Mark Jewelers insert, by the way. Here's uh, Superman holding the flag there along with that great Alan Moore story, Wonder Woman with the uh, her appearance in Freedom Fighters and a Supergirl in her appearance in her own comic. Over here are all the giveaways and promotionals that I love. A bunch of these came from the community as well. And down here are the older comic shelf, including, of course, the famous Witchcraft 5 that was um, essentially resurrected by Jerry the Jitterbug. Thanks again, Jerry, for that, my friend. A few AOKs here from Mike Night Tiger from Man Cave from Bob's World, Bob's Comics now, I guess, and from Jambo Comics. Again, the whole reason this room exists, guys, is because of this community. You guys have, you know, motivated me and have given me so much love that, you know, I had to put something together to showcase all that you guys have given back to me. And a lot of this stuff either was because of, either sent to me directly or inspired by the community. So that's why I call this the Medicaid of Gratitude World. It was named like that in a naming contest. Down here on the right are some of the Shanlon um, cassette, or actually read-along uh, cassettes with the comics. Um, there's actually a few others, but that's these are the, the, the Marvel and the Archies, the DCs you will see a little bit later on. Down there is a Veronica given to me by Night Tiger when he came over recently. Here's uh, Spider-Man sock. Again, that's Christmas stuff. Uh, that nest that was given to me by Silver Age Dave. And uh, some uh, miscellaneous stuff in that Avengers uh, kind of trash bin. But uh, there's some animals in there and uh, some vehicle protecting them. On this wall, we have the Marvel Mead folders. The complete set there of six. As you can see, Thor, Hulk, Fantastic Four, Cap. Avengers and of course Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man is one of my originals that I had as a kid, I do believe. And then up here we have the Power Records. Uh, at least some of them. I do have a complete set of the first series. And uh, um, on either side of those main folders are the completed puzzles from the 1970s Marvel Super Heroes card sets. Okay. And way up there is an Avengers spread from a British super Spider-Man sent to me by none other than the Greyman himself. Uh, down here we have my um, Independence, Miscellaneous, Magazines, etc. By the way, I want to show you inside one of these boxes because last time I just sort of glossed over, but over here, all uh, my more, most of my Marvels are actually more, 
right? And I, what I do is I, I number them, I number the box, and I also put the titles that were in there, and if, if it expands more than one title, then I put the numbers that uh, are in there in that particular box. But let's look in here, just so you can see what a random box of mine looks like. Uh, this is obviously Marvel Premiere. So that's a complete set of Marvel Premiere, one through, is it 61, 62? I forget all of them, what this listed into. Let's see here. 60, looks like 61 there. Okay, so 61. Then, of course, my complete set of Marvel Spotlight. Same thing. There's the Spotlight 5, Spotlight 12. So they're a little tighter, perhaps, than they should be, but I think you get the just here, Marvel Spotlight second series. There's Fantasy Illustrated, just because I, I only have a few of them, so I put them with the in front of the Marvel superheroes. And then, of course, Contest of Champions, Marvel Superhero Contest of Champions, Marvel Horror Secret Wars, and Marvel Superheroes, the editions that came out in the 90s. So that's just a random box for you to see, uh, you know, what my stock looks like. Uh, and everything is organized similarly, alphabetically, uh, except, you know, sometimes if, if a series is too long, it didn't fit, I would move it a box over or back. But essentially, that's it. Down here, you can see some figures. Of course, it would shown throughout uh, the shelving is all kinds of little figures and little items that relate to the comics like that manta ray there relates to that metal man 38 that plane next to the astro comics was given away uh, by american airlines etc etc i just like to have things that sort of relate to each other then over here is another well, probably the one of the the biggest addition this time is the spinner rack which I got over in Jacksonville for a song. Uh, it is looks like to be like an 80s spinner rack, perhaps even 90s. I think 80s, though. It might actually be a trade paperback spinner rack. I'm not sure about that either because of the width of the pockets, and there's so many of them. Uh, I made that Hey Kids comic song in there, but I absolutely love it, and it's in great condition. Absolutely just had to, a little bit of dust on it. That's about it. There's a... Marvel backpack up here more art from Matilda that's uh, of course OMG Chris uh, the uh, art that uh, we did uh, well it was done by Journo Journal's comics and uh, pop culture and we did an auction benefit for his uh, funeral expenses etc his brother's expenses uh, that's one uh, a, a character of me that I got when I lived up when I lived in, in Port Ritchie and um, worked at the Boys and Girls Club there's artwork by Night Tiger and by Mr. Miracle. And uh, there's some, a Superman bag, the DC part, and over here is the Avengers bag on the Marvel part. And there's uh, Avengers curtains as well. So, coming over here, we have more the DC part. I'll only move Cap here. I'll show you him in a minute. And, of course, we have some art there from, uh, from Heroes to Icons. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention up here is uh, indeed the uh, art that was just sent to me by Jason from Heroes to Icons. Love it. So I wanted to put it right above. So all I'll do is raise my head and see that great piece of art. Thanks again, Jason, for that. Just absolutely magnificent. Uh, there is a ma uh, Masterpiece Edition Superman. That is a mock-up of what double action comics could be sent to me by the, Mar by the DC completist Ian Levine. Up there is a comic that was actually a, uh, it was actually created for the movie Empire of the Sun, and it's one of 10 or 15 copies that was on the set there uh, way back in the, I guess it was the 90s, by late 80s. Uh, and then there's some more. There's a DC Stars card set puzzle that you put together. There's a great Wonder Woman by Esteban Salinas. I uh, won that on uh, Fish and Freaks Comics Contest, I bet. I think it was. Catwoman Pop, sent to me by my daughter. Shout out to Olivia. There's a Batman Neil Adams Power Record cover. And that great Wonder Bread uh, uh, Batman uh, sort of rap sent to me by none other than Kenny, Comic Hit 84. How you doing, Kenny? I hope you can see this and I hope you're well. All right, here are the other uh, Shandlon um, to set... Sets uh, one Superman, 
and Batman. Of course, that's just two of There's actually more of them back here, the complete set I have back there. And there's a little Wonder Woman bucket with uh, Batgirl and Wonder Woman looking up and admiring her. And there's this, uh, that little Wonder Tot there in the middle uh, having some fun there as well. Over here are just uh, some where I keep uh, office supplies, that ottoman where I used to when I have to reach up in the tall, uh, higher places here in the Medicave. There's some uh, also some um, comics that I use down there, comic parts. Over here, I also have the stuff I use for cleaning and pressing comics. And there is a pile of comics that I still have to clean and press and then go into the collection. Uh, over here are some um, a full, a little shelf here with essentially just miscellaneous characters and pops, uh, Batman and some of his villains there, some turtles. Uh, down here are some more stuff, including, you know, some Groots in there, some of my price guides and books and... Uh, other kinds of re comic related materials that didn't fit in the boxes down there are uh, the rest of my Gerber guides. You saw the first two over in the filming area and uh, card sets and mini comic sets. And this shelf here has, again, this top one has a lot of Marvel stuff, including that great lunchbox with the thermos inside, some figures, some uh, chase card sets, uh, big little books, some movies I got there, some from Mike Night Tiger, some from Surf Blue. Here's uh, another miscellaneous, more like miscellaneous character shelf, including that great uh, Steve Canyon lun uh, lunchbox, some more figures back there, Mach 5s. Down there are some of my treasuries, coloring books, and down there is an AOK I'm working on, so I turned the backing board so you wouldn't be able to see uh, who that is. I also have back here, <laughs> I, uh, that's for uh, cover slingers on Saturday. And again, I turned it so you can't see what is in there. Obviously, this is another big addition, and I think big, six-foot Captain America standee, which I won on Collector Dudes, uh, one of his contests. Of course, you know, when Collector Dude contests, <laughs> most everybody wins. He's wearing a, a Iron Man cap there, so that's one of his buddies. Over here are some of my uh, video game stuff. Uh, up there is just some of the testing equipment I have for almost every kind of 70s and 80s video games systems because uh, if I find them you know I need uh, equipment to test them controllers power supplies RF modulators etc I'm a big fan of the Odyssey 2 so I have actually four or five of them and down there is Tapwave Zodiac which is kind of an obscure handheld down there's my Amazing Heroes collection complete uh, but it's, uh, it's way buried down there so I don't take it out much and then of course there's my Nintendo stuff in there PlayStation Gizmondo, which is another kind of rare uh, handheld. Xbox 360 stuff. There's the voice, which goes with the Odyssey 2. And uh, Transformers, Batman. Big fan of Mario Kart, so we got that there. On this back wall, you see some Chang-Chi there. I believe one of those is from James Gallegos. This is one I won from Andy's Vinyl Den, and he did a sketch cover on it. Let's see if I can get the glare up. There it is. Another Chang-Chi poster by Surf Blue. Uh, another, uh, that's a Kenny, uh, special there, uh, Night, uh, Night Thrasher, um, Deathlock won on uh, Gino Presents channel and prize tag through, uh, Highly Comic Bro, a comic reader. I think that was Jackson Roy Kirk that sent that to me, I do believe. I hope I'm right. I'm on that one. Love that Deathlock figure there. And here's my Ghost Rider wall. Essentially all kinds of Ghost Rider shelf sketches from so many community members, um, Century Stir Fry, Matilda again, Mr. Miracle, Remy Q, Dressier's Comics and Games. I mean, it just keeps going on and on. There's the one and only slab that I have up here. Uh, shout out to the boy who had 70 sent me that. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous slab. Here is a very important part of the Bennett Cave. These are all the different notes uh, that I've received from cost test wins and AOKs, etc. And uh, again, Medicaid of gratitude. I'm just so grateful grateful for this community here are the rest of my odyssey twos and down there are my handhelds and um uh, some of the figures there for the mario karts and over here is my uh retro um video game shelf up there playstation 2 there's all the hats that i wear here and there uh, i had no one else to put them 
Uh, here's a, a, my <laughs> TurboGrafx-16 and the Retron 3 back there. Nintendo stuff, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. Over here is a Sega stuff and the Nintendo 64. My Atari 2600 um, Heavy Sixer lot, with a lot of games. Wii, there's a GameCube back there and a lot of different Wii games and GameCube, GameCube games. And finally, here are, are behind the door are all the different shirts that I wear. Of course, the nerd shirts, shall we say. Superman, Black Panther, etc., etc. There's a poster there of Thor sent to me. Uh, well, it's actually my daughter's, but uh, she let me have it. And there's a bag that I believe that sent to me by Simon, uh, amongst other things. So that's it, folks. That is the, two, the early 2003 tour of the Medicave of Gratitude. Again, I just can't thank this community enough for the love that they have shown me, the support, the motivation. Uh, I cannot say anything negative at all about this community. It has been absolutely stupendous. It has enriched my life greatly, and uh, I am ever in your debt for that. All right, but I think that's it for now. Um, so let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or any uh, kind of... Uh, improvements you think I can make. I think there's something could be made here on the floor. Nice little, you know, nice little mat or rug or something. That's, that's the, my next kind of uh, thinking about, you know, how to improve the room, but uh, it will be changing again for uh, July. So uh, join me for that tour as well. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Be kind to each other, be blessed and be back.